So look, I hear it every day, every day I hear it. They say, look, KC, my mom is coming home from the hospital any day now. She coming home any day now, you know what I mean? What do I do? Stick with me till the end. I got all the information that you need to know to be a 100% paid caregiver for your mother when she comes home, all right? Now listen, if you don't know who I am, my name is Kion Church. What do I do? I help financially challenge family members to become paid caregivers, paid caregivers through the Medicaid long-term health care program. Now, how do I do that? Listen, that may be or may not be a secret. I don't know, but what I do is I connect the paychecks to the pockets. So look, meet the new boss of that in-home health care, Mr. KC. How you doing today, y'all? So, um, whew, very stressful day if your mother's coming home from the hospital, you know, sometime this week, you know what I mean? Because she gonna need a little extra care. How are you, the person who goes to work every day, supposed to be able to handle that and handle your own personal business? You know what I mean? Now, you may have the solution, you know what I mean? Time is the solution. If you can't put that time in because you're too busy working, what are you gonna do? Stick with me, kid. I got you. All right. So look, hashtag live, hashtag rebroadcast. I see a couple of y'all on here, but I really can't tell who you are right now. So let me know in the comments. You know what I mean? I'm a big hearted caregiver. My mom's in the hospital. What do I do? Now, I'm going to share a personal story with you. You know what I mean? A, a, a good friend of mine called yesterday and he said, look, KC, my mom's coming home from the hospital and uh, we trying to set up some caregiving. And I told him, it's only one program that'll pay for your mother's caregiver. That's Medicaid, and she has to be in a long-term health care program. That's when the, her feet hit the floor. You know what I mean? Because other than that, no insurance company is willing to pay for a paid aid. They especially don't want to pay you to be her paid aid because you're unskilled. You know what I'm saying? So what you got to do, you got to make sure mom hits the ground running. All right? How do you do that? Okay, listen, while your mother is at the hospital or she's at that rehab, she's got a couple good, good, very good people in position that are already set up to help her. You know, they're called case managers and they're called social workers, all right? Any institution that she goes to, hospital, um, rehab, any of those buildings, she, she, she's, got a, she's got a team in place. What you got to do is utilize the team because when she comes home, it's going to be a whole different story. It's going to be you and her one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. You feel me? Now, you're going to have to do the best that you can do because uh, it's just going to be you. You know what I mean? Now, f fortunately or unfortunately, you probably got a big family or maybe you don't have a big family. You know, if you like me, I'm the only child. You know what I mean? I had to move back home to be able to take care of mom and dad because it was getting too rough for them at home by themselves. So... You may have to dig deep now. Don't get scared because you're in a good position. Right now, she got a couple people over top of her case. All you need to do is you need to get in their ear. You need to let them know, look, mom's coming home. Her needs have obviously changed and we need a little help. All right. So what you can do is you can try to get her into the program now. You know what I mean? Now, the best thing about you is you got a friend like me and uh, I'll help you to the end. You know what I mean? I have helped a lot of people successfully get into the program during their time of need. You know what I mean? Um, can't tell everybody's business because of HIPAA, but I helped a lady get into the program. She had like 24 hours left. It was crazy. You know, it, it just basically took a bunch of phone calls. You know, I got a bunch of connections over there. You know, I know a lot of people and, and, and uh, they text me. You know how they do. <laughs> and not only that, we don't take no for an answer, especially, excuse me, especially if we talking about mom, I can't take no for an answer, dog. Mom coming home, she need this. You know what I mean? We, we need this. It ain't even about putting the money in her pocket. It's about getting mom some help. You know what I mean? So we're we going to we gonna have to get it working. Now, while she's there, you want to talk to the case manager. You know what I mean? Now, case manager, you need to tell her, look, this is what we're doing. We're moving mom to Medicaid long-term health care. Now, she might say, well, why you want to do that? Well, mom's going to need some help when she get home, and you're not going to be there. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to be the only one there, and mom's going to need a little help. So this is what KC told me to do. Now, don't let these people intimidate you while they're in the hospital. You know, uh, 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 they got their own lives going on, and they always seem to think, hey, Eric said great live. 
what else is new? So look, how you doing today, Eric, man? Uh, thanks for checking out the live. All I want to do is educate the people, man. You know, so you obviously a big hearted caregiver because you tuned in, man. We appreciate you. So what do we do? We're going to hold the people at the hospital feet to the fire. And we're going to make sure to get mom a little help before she get on out of there. Because we need mom to come home in the best shape. You know what I mean? We need her. We need her. That's mom. You feel me? So you're going to ask them, what do I have to do to get mom into the program? Now, they're going to say, look, it's not that easy. You know what I mean? That's the first thing they say. They always say that. Oh, it ain't that easy. They, I think, personally, they be trying to break people's spirits sometimes. It's almost like, you know, you're not with me. But listen, I'm here for mom, so I'm not going to let y'all shake me. You feel me? Y'all not going to shake me or break me on this because mom need this. So what you're going to do is you're going to call Medicaid. I'm going to give you the number. 866 nine four zero eight nine six three now that's the medicaid central intake that's the part where uh the first part what you got to do is fill out an application you know that's the whole thing get her in fill out that application mom's in the hospital or she's in a rehab right now guess what she qualified <laughs> give yourself a hand man because that was some hard information you know what i'm saying like and then everybody don't know that you know what I mean? So I'm telling you right here, right now, she's qualified. All right. Now, part two, they're going to ask for a Medicaid financial services application. Now, this is going to be the sticky tricky, but guess what? Mom has you on her side and you know how to fill out that good paperwork. Yo, thanks for all the love. If you're here right now, hashtag live, hashtag rebroadcast, you know, give me them hearts. Pop that wow face off. KC, really love the wow face. If you ever see me on a web, hit that wow face for me, you know? So... What they're going to ask for next is a financial services application. Fill that part out. You know, uh, sometimes we got to get creative. You know what I mean? Because, you know, situation sticky, tricky, and, and, and we're trying to get some help from mom. And, and if you know, like I know, and you got insurance, you already know. Insurance ain't trying to do nothing. You know what I mean? That's why it's only one insurance that pays for the whole service. All insurance like to do is collect the check. All they want to do is collect, 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 collect. But listen, I got something to tell you today. Mom need a little extra help, so y'all going to have to pay for this one. You know what I mean? Stick to your guns. Don't let them shake you. You know what I mean? While you're there. See, okay, I'm going to break it down to you. The first part of the application, uh, it's, it's like a health assessment. So you really want that done while mom is in the hospital. You know what I mean? You don't want to wait till mom comes home from the hospital to ask the people to give her a medical health assessment. No, right now, mom's in the hospital. She got a whole team of doctors, uh, nurses, whole staff that's taking care of her. So what you want to do is you want to line it up right now. Because when they ask the doc, hey, does does uh, Casey's mom fit into this program? Do you think medically she's qualified? They're going to say, yeah. You know what I mean? We got all the ladies' records right here. So that's cool. Get that part out of the way. Then you want to move on to the financial thing. They're going to ask you for this anyway because, you know, they always in your business. They want to know everything. So look, tell them everything. You know what I mean? Mom may have, mom may not have, but one thing's for sure. If mom is coming out the hospital, you're the one taking care of her and all her affairs. So make sure you let them know that because mom may have a million bucks but can't use it because... You know, she not, her health not right. And she may have to leave a letter to say, hey, look, so-and-so controls all of that, and I need this help. Mm, light bulb's going off, right? Right, I'm telling you, man, this is what I do every day. I'm going to even, listen, I'm going to even tell you all my secret formula, man. You know what I mean? Some people think it's marketing. You know, it's like 100,000 people see me on Facebook Lives. You know what I mean? Things like that. People call me all the time. Oh, Casey, I seen you on TV and this and that. Listen. The secret formula is helping people. Call me, I help you. 302-689-3240. 302-689-3240. All right. Check this out. I got this article uh, out of a... Uh, got this article right here I'm reading. I got this out of a magazine in December 2017. That was like around the beginning stages of RAI. You know what I mean? And, and, and I got something out of here that I thought... I thought it was, you know, really interesting, you know, a couple years back, and, and it really holds to truth today. So let me break it down to you. The number of Americans age 65 and older is projected to reach about 73 million in the year 2030. 
Now that's up from 46.2 million. You hear me? I'm going to read that to you one more time. The number of Americans aged 65 and older is projected to reach about 73 million in the year 2030, up from 46.2 million. Now, According to the U.S., the, uh, the United States Census Bureau, 70% of them can expect to use long-term care. Now, what does that say to you? 70% of them can expect to use long-term care. Now, what that says to me is you got to get it tight right now. You know what I mean? Listen. Dawn of the days of uh, sweeping things under the couch. The time is now. Your parents are getting older. Get them into the program now. That way, if mom or dad should fall on hard times and they need this, you don't have to be scrambling. You know what I mean? At the same time, if you scrambling right now, just get it together. Put one foot in front of the other. You know, you might can't see the path because it's too far away. But the closer you get to it, you'll be able to see the end. And if you can't see the end, call me, 302-689-3240. Look, I got a whole lot of resources at my fingertips. Don't be afraid to use them. Call me up. I, I, I give you everything. You know what I mean? I got this three-step guide to Medicaid, uh, long-term health care services. You know what I mean? I send this out to people daily as a text message just so they can have all the information. You know what I mean? It's a lot of people who actually need me but don't qualify right yet. And I'm, what I do is I just help them. Really, I work their case, work them, work them, work them. Well, not really their cases. It's probably like their parents' cases or whatever. And I just help them until they get into the program. You know what I mean? Like I said, we've had some success. I had, Look, I can't do the hip. I really can't tell you everything. But if a family member or the, the young lady who I actually helped get into the program within the 24 hours is on the line, you know, Yo, tell these people how we do it over here. You know what I mean? Number one, it's no fun unless my friends could get some. So if you need help, I'm here for you. You hear me? Hey, man, that's just what I do. It, it, it's nothing special. And uh, it's a lot of resources out here. And people don't really know that they actually truly qualify, you know. But if you're taking care of your mom, you're taking care of your dad, you might need a little help. You know what I mean? Now... Reliable aid can help you in multiple, multiple ways. You know what I mean? We are a Medicaid service provider. So what I actually do is when Medicaid calls me, they say, hey, Casey, we got a new person came home. You know what I mean? Uh, they need a little help. Can you send somebody around there? Check them out. Yeah, of course. We do the, all the non-medical. So, you know, activities of daily living. They need help getting up in the morning, need help getting dressed, you know, need light meal prep, you know what I mean? Help clean up the area, make them feel better. You know, don't nobody want to be around when you got a dirty house, man. Because, you know, my face, I be frowning on my house dirty. I be like, ah, man, I don't even feel good. You know what I mean? You know, help my father out this morning, got him up. You know, I'm looking at him right now in the other room at all times, you know what I mean? The lady told me, look, don't leave the man alone. So, we stuck together, you know what I mean? So, this morning, helped him get up, uh, get his get his get his get his uh, 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 personal hygiene together. You know what I mean? Put some clean clothes on. You know what I mean? Got a little breakfast. Right now, he laying back on the couch. We can we can bounce out in a minute. Go to dialysis. So these are the kind of things that we do for people. You know what I mean? Like I'm doing it for mine. I, I wish I was in a situation where I could get paid, but unfortunately, I didn't know this. You know what I mean? I didn't even know the secrets. I didn't know, and it's too late. But for you, you're in a good situation because it's not too late. You know what I mean? All you got to do is reach out for a little help. Look, I help you as much, as much or as little as you want, but you got to call me. You know what I mean? I can't, I can't make the miracle. I can't make a miracle happen, but I can make a miracle happen through you. You know what I mean? Call me if you need me. 302-689-3240. Look, if you're taking care of your parents, if you're putting other people's needs in front of your own, and you're sacrificing uh, your job situation, it's not gonna be fun come Christmas time because you worked all summer for nothing and, and now you ain't got nothing, you know what I mean? But you and mom want a little something, you know what I mean? Like, you know, me and pop went uptown yesterday, you know what I mean, wanted a hoagie, you know what I mean? All right, boom, you got it, you know what I mean? We, 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 we actually, uh, we hung out all day, did a few things, you know what I mean? But you're gonna need to be able to put some money in your pocket to be able to do that, you know what I mean? If you got a blessing laying in your lap, don't overlook it. Don't overlook it, man. Listen, you're going to be crazy if I tell you it's money out. You're going to go crazy if I tell you it's money out here for you and you didn't get it. You know what I mean? Don't be that kind of person. You know what I mean? 
Ain't no fun unless my friends can get some. And if you need some, call me. I'm going to help you out. 302-689-3240. Hey, Reliable Aid Inc. is it. You know, what do we do? We help financially challenge family members to become paid caregivers through the Medicaid long-term health care program. If that sounds like you, if that sounds like your family member, you know, don't be shy. Pick up the phone. Give me a holler. Let's get down to work, baby. That's all we do. All right? So, look, I got to go, man. Uh, you know, dialysis is calling us. So, talk to you soon. Take it easy.